morning, friends, and welcome to 30 Minutes with Mandy. All right. Uh, if you find something we're doing to be a little bit too challenging, I really encourage you to slow your roll, maybe set down your weights, take the modification that I give. Um, if you find that you need a little bit more of a challenge, then please pick up your pace and go a little faster, go a little harder. Do the advanced version of the exercise. All right. Today's warm up is going to be uh, we're going to do butt kicks and plank taps. Butt kicks and plank taps. We're going to get started in three, two, one. Here we go. Here's your butt kick. Getting those heels up to the butt, just like so. Modification if you need it, you take the bounce out. And you're still just picking up those heels like so. The rest of us, get that bounce in. Keep the chest up, right? Keep the hands up at or near the heart. Don't let them flop around. Keep those arms up. And breathe. Bring it down. Plank taps. We're going to be in a high plank position. Wrists are directly in. Shoulders. We're holding that plank and we're doing an alternating shoulder tap. Object of the game is to try not to rotate the hips. So it's not like this. We're not doing that. Keep that butt down. Almost there. Bring it up. Back to our butt kicks. Getting started. Now, let's go. Oh, I forgot to pull my hair back. Chest up, arms up. Breathe it out. We have one more round each. We're ready. Let's go. Make sure that you're up. Make sure you're not like this. Okay. And it's not up here. That's a high knee. We're thinking the heels up back there. Keeping the knees down. Almost there. Last round of plank taps. Bring it on down. Ready. Let's go. Pull it right there. Set your gaze about 12 inches in front of you and leave it there. Don't look at your hands. Don't look at your feet. Look ahead. It's a good life advice, regardless, right? Don't look back. Don't look down. Look ahead. Bring it on up. Okay, friends. We have six exercises today. We're going to do each exercise for one whole minute. We're going to do those six exercises a total of three times. And we'll take a break in between each full six minute circuit. Okay? Exercise number one, we're doing a forward lunge with a twist with forward leg and we'll alternate. 
So if you have a dumbbell, kettlebell, or any kind of weight you'd like to use, go ahead and grab that. If you don't have any weights, that's totally fine. It's not necessary. You're still gonna do that twist with us, okay? We're gonna get started in three, two, one. Here we go. Lunging forward, twist over the forward leg, step it back, and then we do the other side. Let's look at it from here, right? 90 degree knees, we take that twist. When you do your twist, turn your torso all the way over, okay? So we're not just taking the weight over like this. We're actually turning the torso. Give me your chest. Make sure you get those 90 degree knees. And stay nice and tall with it. Shoulders stacked over hips. Almost there. We're gonna set that guy down for a moment. We're coming to the floor for floor dips. So we're doing our dips on the floor. We'll have an ankle crossed over the knee. If you've never done this before, or if you find dips to be super challenging, then you have the option of doing them on a chair or on the surface, on some kind of surface coffee table, whatever works best for you. Those of us who have been doing it for a while, we're coming down to the floor, or even if you're new at it, I do have modifications. All right, guys. Right angle over the left knee. Bring it up, here we are, bend, Straighten, bend, straighten. Modification, you can put both feet on the floor and you can do it from here and just rest when you need to. Maybe you do two or three dips and then you rest, count to two and go right back to it, right? Keep your head up, keep your chest up. Switching sides and keep those shoulders far, far away from your ears. Remember, shoulders are Lannisters, ears are Starks. We don't let them anywhere near each other because terrible, terrible things happen when they get together. So don't be here. Pick up your head, look forward, roll the shoulder blades down your back, bend and straighten the arms, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Coming on up. Next, we have a squat, reverse lunge, squat, reverse lunge. You can do this with some weight if you want a little extra challenge, or you can just go with me with your own body weight, okay? And we're going in three, two, one, here we go. We get into a nice deep squat, and then we sit back and lunge. We put that foot right back where we found it, and immediately go into the squat. So be mindful not to Lunge, come in, step out. It's a lot of wasted time, right? You want to keep working. So put that foot right back where you found it. Keep the chest up. Don't sacrifice your form because we're mixing exercises, right? Still give me a really, a really good squat sitting back into it. 90 degrees on the lunge. Chest up, butt back. 90 degrees on the lunge. Ten more seconds. All right. Next up, we're doing a lateral plank crawl. So we're in our high plank position, like so. And we're going side to side. So this is the exercise. This is not the exercise. It does not look like this, okay? So come down into that plank. Don't look at your feet. Set your gaze about 12 inches in front of you. Keep the head up. And we're moving opposites together. If you need to rest every few paces, then please do. Push through your pecs. And keep that butt down. Your hands 
should not be in your line of vision. Five more seconds. Tough. 
You can put both feet on the floor if you need to. And remember, it's not about this, right? You gotta bend the elbows and then push your body weight up with your triceps. You are lifting your body with your triceps. Awesome, bring it up. Squat, reverse lunge, squat, reverse lunge. Here we go. Get down on it, we sit back and we lunge. Can we put that foot right back where we found it? Chest is up, butt is back, right? Remember, in order to get that really good 90 degree bend, gotta get that back heel up off the floor there. As you come out of that squat, really push through the glutes and the heels. Fifteen more seconds. Keep those arms working too. Don't let them just dangle. We have our lateral plank crawl. I'm going to turn this way this time. So you guys can see what it looks like from the side. And here we go. Opposites move together. Butt stays down. Your body should be like a board. Make sure that you're not here. Or here. Or here. Right? Wrists under shoulders. Hands under your chest, not your face. Keep the core tight and rest when you need to. If you need to go two or three paces and then stop, count to two, go right back to it, that is totally available to you. We'll rest for 10, and then we have our dogs. I'm going to turn at an angle so you can maybe see a little bit better. All right. I'm doing level two. My head is up. My thigh and my knee are in line with each other. So I'm not down here, and I'm not back here. This is a really common mistake. Bring it in and keep it in line. There should be a little a 90 degree angle right there where your hip hinges, okay? And we are switching sides. Now remember, you can be here if you need to. We're just going up and down. We go down halfway, we come right back up. Down halfway, come right back up. And those of you doing advanced version, you can be here and just pulsing right there while you're parallel to the floor. Almost there. All right, on your back, we have a single leg tuck crunch. Here we go. Remember, you can do the crunch if you I feel like the sit-up doesn't work for you. And reach with your chest, right? Don't reach with the shoulders like this. We don't want to round. We want to push the chest forward and reach with the chest. of doing this with your with the dumbbell and be sure to pull that belly button in pull the core in toward the floor to pull your torso up that 
that's where that action comes from. Rest for 10. I mean, take a little break, sorry. We're gonna take a little break. And then, we're gonna do everything one more time. So, we have six minutes left. And y'all know what I say. If you are struggling, if you're having a difficult time, if the first two rounds felt like that was just about all you had, I really encourage you to stick with me and just pace yourself on these last six minutes, okay? Maybe go half the pace that you went before. Just keep moving. Just get a little bit more in. And then the next time you do this, the easier it will be. Um, if you're nice and warmed up and you're feeling sassy, then really go for it. Empty the tank. Give it everything you have in these last six minutes. Okay. We're going to get started with our forward lunge with a twist. In three, two, one. Here we go. Lunging forward, twisting over that forward leg, and again. Let me turn this over for you guys. Here. Get those 93 knees. Turn that torso all the way over. It can be really easy to just start doing that. Turn it at the waist. We're getting a good oblique twist there. That really helps. Shoulders stacked over hips. We are almost there. Yes. Bring it down for our floor dips. Right ankle over left knee, bring it up. Pick that head up, look forward. Get those shoulders out of your ears. Bend those elbows. Bend, straighten. Let the body down. Push it back up. Your hips shouldn't be doing anything at all. You're just hanging out. If you want more of a challenge, you can pick them up higher and try to go down lower. But aside from that, they're not doing anything. Switch sides. All the work is happening in those triceps. We bend and we straighten. Keeping the chest up, looking forward. Awesome. We're gonna squat, reverse lunge, squat, reverse lunge. Ready? Here we go. Oops. Squat, take it back. Put that foot right back where you found it. Get down with me, down here. Way down here. 90 degree on that lunge. Let's go ahead and get down there. Way down here. Chest up, butt down. Keep those hands either up here or moving with your body. Maybe on your hips, that's a possibility. Whatever it is, don't let them do this. Don't let them just dangle and hang out. Don't look at your feet. They don't like to be supervised. 
We like to be independent. Keep the core tight, keep the butt down. If you would like to move faster, I invite you to do that. Make sure it doesn't look like this, right? Make sure you can keep the butt down and the hands underneath the chest. seconds. Reach with the chest. Try not to round those shoulders. Thank you very much. That is our workout for today. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being with me. Um, we will do the same thing tomorrow at the same time, same place. Okay? Y'all have a great Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow.